So I always want to start off with a clean base. I'm using the Cream of Nature with Argan Oil Pure Alicious Coal Wash. This coal wash is amazing. It gets into my scalp and it basically cleans my hair and moisturizes it at the same time. So it's like a coal wash in a bottle without using a conditioner with the benefits of having a cleansed scalp that a shampoo would do but without stripping the hair and leaving the hair really moisturized and really, really soft. Then I go in with the Cream of Nature from Argan Oils, Argan Buttermilk. This is a leave-in hair milk that's basically going to make my curls pop and leave me with a ton of moisture to my hair. My hair really enjoyed using this. Um, it didn't give me any frizz and it made my hair really, really soft and manageable. So the first thing I want to do with this style is to take the back section of hair, making sure that it's already detangled. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is make a horizontal part using my ears as a guide straight across the back of my head, as you can see here. That part is made to my liking. I'm going to go ahead and make a ponytail out of that section that I already parted. Now because my curls are so poppin', I'm gonna go ahead and stretch it using a roller for the time being. This is just a really large hair roller to just stretch out that section because my curls are just being who they are right now. They are really curly from using those two products from Cream of Nature. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use the Cream of Nature with Argan Oil from Morocco's Style and Shine Foaming Mousse. This mousse is awesome what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it on the top section of my hair coming straight down from roots to ends what i love about this styling mousse as well is that it gives me a lot of hold without leaving my hair feeling way down and bulky so this is way better than using any sort of gel in my opinion to make sure you have no frizzes or flyaways and then i'm going to go ahead and brush all of that back just to make sure it's all smooth and there's no frizz and it's going to stay really, really smooth. Now that all the hair is smoothed back and slicked back into a ponytail, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two ponytails without making a part, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to use my fingers as a guide and separate that one ponytail into two ponytails, as you can see there. I didn't make a part going down the middle of my head because I want the front of my hair to be stay smooth. So I'm just going to make two ponytails out of that one ponytail using a few ponytail holders. Now that those two ponytails have been created, we can move on to making these buns. I'm going to take that first back ponytail that we created and I'm going to split that in two sections. Once those two sections have been made, here's where creating those buns come into place. Take that first section, make a loop with your fingers, press that loop against the back of your head, and then go ahead and pin that first loop into place. This is going to act as your first petal. Okay, our first like mini bun. And once you're done with that, you're gonna take the remaining hair that's left from that first section that you just laid down and made a loop. You're gonna go ahead and make another loop with your fingers as a guide to open up that loop. And then you're just gonna take the remaining hair that's left over and tuck it into that one loop. I hope that this is really straightforward for you guys because it's gonna be so pretty. I think this style is gonna be really, really great for the holidays and amazing for people who have thinner hair because it makes you look like you've got a ton of hair in the back there. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do it again. Going to separate that section. You can do this as many times as you want. You don't have to do it twice. Make a loop using your fingers or two of your fingers, two to three of your fingers, depending on how big you want the loop. I'm using two fingers. I'm going to pin that first loop down and then the remaining hair from that section, I'm going to loop again using my fingers, tucking away the excess ends of my hair and pinning that down to the back of my head. One more time, you guys. Make a loop using my fingers. You can see here I'm using three fingers because I want this a little bit bigger. I'm going to press that first loop against my head. I'm going to pin that down to make sure that it is secure. 
And then I'm going to take the remaining hair using my fingers again to create another loop. And then I'm going to tuck the ends that are excess into that loop and then I'm going to pin that down. And you've got your first blooming bun in the back there. Isn't that gorgeous? It's amazing. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is continue to create the rest of my blooming buns and I'm just gonna let you guys see how I do this. All my buns are done. I'm going to take the cream of nature with Argano from Morocco's Perfect Edges. And I'm using a toothbrush to do this just to lay down my edges. Look how sleek and smooth they are from just applying this product. I'm amazed and I actually really like how this edge control works. Not a lot of edge controls can do this for me, so I'm really excited about using this. It doesn't stay slicked completely, but that shine stays there, but my hair doesn't curl back up. So that's really, really good. All right, you guys, so here is the final look. Do let me know down in the comment section what you think of my holiday blooming buns, and let me know if you're gonna go ahead and recreate this style for the holiday season. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys in another video really, really soon. Bye, guys.